If you were to pay, if you were to pay attention to a select few graphs, which would you use? Okay, well that gets us right into the the subject of key performance indicators (KPIs). Um, so I I I have four things that I look at that I you know if I have to just take a really quick look at how things are going. So I look at sessions. Um, and that sessions will tell you, you know, basically how much um, your listings are being looked at, right? How many people are looking at your listings, and that, you know, if your advertising suddenly stops, you know, your listings are going to crash, right? If um, if your image is deleted, your main image is deleted, your your impressions are going to crash. Um, if your keywords suddenly stop working or something goes wrong with the keywords and on the back end. Organic SEO on those keywords. Yeah, exactly. Yep. Something happens that's going to affect sessions. So there's a lot of different things that can affect sessions, but if sessions are just, you know, keep going up or staying level or, you know, slight increase, you know that that all of those things are basically okay, right? So that's a key thing to look at. Um, so that's people just coming to your store looking at your listing, right? The next thing is conversion rate. Um, because you have people coming to your store, are they actually, do they end up buying, right? And um, if, if something happens to the conversion rate, now you have to go in there and find out. It, again, it could be you got some bad reviews, you know, your review style rating tanked a bit. It could be that um, uh, the main image disappeared, or it could be something on the listing changed. Um, so there's a whole bunch of things that could affect this. Or maybe the price changed, and or you had a, a, a sale going and the sale ended and you didn't renew it, right? Um, so there's a whole bunch of things that can affect your conversion rate, and um, uh, so that's another big area of the business to keep an eye on. So you have your sessions, which is you know how much are you being looked at, and then conversion rate, how much of all of those visits are actually turning into sales. The third one is profits, um, because you want to make sure that with all these sales that's going on, that you're actually making money, right? If your price is too low, you might be losing money, right? So if profits is hurting, I mean, you can you could be selling a hundred thousand dollars a month, a million dollars a month, five million dollars a month, but if you're losing money on every sale, this yeah. is a big problem, right? Yep. Um, so uh, keeping an eye on profits, uh, those are the the three main ones I look at, and then. I keep an eye also on my uh, review rating, the, n the number of stars, yeah. um, because you know if that goes, to, if you lose half a star, and suddenly you know you go from 4.3 to 4.2, that's you know instead of four and a half stars, it's four stars, and that can make a big difference as well. So um, those uh, four statistics, those four graphs, is what, what we use as our KPIs. Um, and there's a handy little tool in, in Managed by Stats that shows you those. And you can use those for your entire seller account, or you can look at it for an individual product or a group of products, right? Um, but it gives you a very fast snapshot and tells you very fast kind of what what potential problems you need to look at if one of those is dropping. Yeah, and it's, it was, what's so powerful about those four metrics is that they cover literally every aspect of selling on Amazon. Literally every aspect. Um, if, if one of those is going down and you know what areas uh, affect that one stat, you can easily go, okay, I see my conversions are going down. I need to go check this, 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 this. And it actually, uh, uh, it, it's just, it's actually kind of mind boggling like, there's so many metrics, there's so many reports, so many different, you know, uh, things you can be bombarded with on, on, on Amazon. Um, and it can get a little bit overwhelming. But if you just take those four elements, those four stats, they literally break down uh, every single aspect of selling on Amazon. And they, so, so we have a little checklist for each of yeah. those and just, you know, hey, if there's a problem with this, then we look at these things and you just check out, you know, um, impressions are dropping. Okay, there's 12 things to check here and it's going to be one of those or, yep. or, or maybe a couple of those, right? And yep. then then you, you very easily and very rapidly you hone in on exactly what it is you need to handle. Yeah, and that's the beauty of these because you can literally analyze your business in two seconds. You look at those four metrics, you know what area you need to, get, uh, to go look at. Or if they're all doing great, they're all doing great. If one of them's going down, you can go, okay, good. What area uh, uh, of my business, what areas affect that one stat? 
and then you can go and look at those areas and see what what could be going wrong. And but many it, times you can handle something before it even really shows up. That's in, right. In in your profits or your sales. That's right. So um, pretty powerful. Um, you know, no one's no one's really been talking about those. It's always just been you know, look at your profits, look at uh, you know all of your other metrics. Like there's there's a, a thousand different things you can look at, but those four hone it in for you. So they're very powerful.